All right, we're gonna do a little mini workout here. Need a small band. We're gonna start with all fours, making your way to hands and knees. Knee just underneath the hips, hands just underneath the shoulders. Bring the knees in so that they're touching. We're gonna do our quadruped hip rock here. So I don't want the low back arched. Rather, I'm gonna draw the stomach in, round slightly through the low back, and then you're gonna tilt your hips to one side. Gently drop into that stretch and then up and over, and you'll tilt your hips to the other side. I tend to feel it in like the side of the low back, the QL area. Some people will feel it in the outer hips. If you don't feel anything, you're probably fairly loose through there. It doesn't hurt to get a little motion. So two times here to each side. If you want to add a third, feel free. From here, let's take a moment and stretch the forearms. So you're going to rotate the palms down towards the floor. If you can't get the fingers to turn all the way in towards your body, okay for them to be slightly out, slight lean back, and then gently rock it side to side. All right, we're going to start down on the stomach with our prone hip extensions. So we're going to keep the band off for the first round, lying flat, head on the hands, forehead rests on the hands, and now toes down towards the floor. You're just going to lift and squeeze, little pause at the top, and we go 10 times here. Deep contraction in that lower, in that glute, waking up the back of the body. If you are experiencing any pinching in the low back, or if this is painful for you, it may not be the best exercise for you. I'm good with muscle burn. That's the intention here to squeeze the glutes, get those uh, hips of fire and wake up. But I don't want discomfort in the low back. After 10, go ahead and switch sides. Lift and squeeze. Focus on that glute on the opposite side. Breathing throughout. Aiming for about 10 with a short pause. There's 10 for me. Go ahead and finish that out. And then we're gonna come up and take it back into a brief child stretch. Toes together, walk the knees wide, reach the arms forward and bow on down, lowering your Heart towards the floor. You can add a gentle side to side stretch here. Get some length into your lats. And then next we're going to use the band to do a single arm row. So working that mid back. You're going to swing around so you can come to a seated position. As you're sitting, make a point to sit up tall on the sit bones. And then you're going to put the band around one foot. Shoulder draws down. And then you're going to pull and pause. Palm in. Extend the arm out. Shoulder retracts back. Elbow pulls back, and again, add a little pause. So when we don't have weights to work with, holding isometric hold in the back, adding a pause to the motion is gonna help to engage more of those muscles. And for about 12 here. Reach and pull, eight, out and in. Seven, as I reach up, my palm is down and I pull back. I turn the hand in slightly. Finish in with 12 there. And then I'm simply gonna switch, bring the foot to the other, band to the other foot, shoulder back and down, palm down, palm turns like in towards the side of the body. I definitely don't get the hand all the way back against the body, but just getting some good, motion through that shoulder blade. You wanna to focus to sit up nice and tall, have a long neck position, and then shoulder down each time. Breathe in as you reach, exhale as you pull, holding for about one breath, and then back to it. Again, aim in for about 12 on this set. and pull, 11, and this is my last one, holding for 12, awesome. All right, last exercise in this series is gonna be a forearm plank. So we're gonna aim for 30 seconds, elbows gonna be just underneath the shoulders, palms down, 
You're gonna do this off the toes. If you need to drop to the knees at any point, feel free. Go ahead and coming on up. So glutes are tight. I've got my heels squeezed together. I'm flexing my quads. Instead of sinking down to those shoulders, I get some protraction of the mid back and push the shoulders down as I lift up through that spine, obviously pulling the stomach in. Everything nice and strong. We are 20 seconds in already. If you really wanted a, more of a challenge here, you could turn it into a plank body saw where you rock your body forward, push back those elbows forward and back. There's our 30. Great job. Let's go ahead and lie down. We're gonna go one more round of that. Let's do a little bit of a press up before we go back to those prone hip extensions. So hands underneath the shoulders as if you're gonna do a push up, but instead of like that up dog or a cobra position, gonna extend up and then bringing it back down. I want you to think about lengthening through the spine as you rise up and flexing the glutes. Breathe in, lower down one more time. Again, I want you to avoid any pinching in the low back. Just open and then down and rest. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna take you through one more time. So forehead on the hands, glutes nice and strong, and then prone hip extensions next. Lift and squeeze, inner between 10 and 12. Oops. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And come to the other side. And actually, I just remembered you can use the band on these to add a little extra resistance. We could put that band right around the ankles. So if you didn't quite get that on and you wanted to, you could pause the video and add. Doesn't give a whole lot of resistance, but just a little bit of something else to push up against. So I'm going to get 12 on this other side. Lift and squeeze. And last rep for 12. Go ahead and finish out your reps there. And then come back up. I'm going to repeat that quadruped hip rock, or if you didn't feel a whole lot there, you could take it back into child stretch once again, opening up the low back in that orientation. And then swinging back around, returning to that seated dumbbell, not dumbbell, seated banded row. So as you sit up, make sure that you're sitting right up on those sit bones so that you're not rounded through your lower spine, band around the foot, palm down, Retract that elbow and shoulder back, palm in, extend out, back and squeeze. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, obviously I could do more or less of the reps. Sticking with it right about 12. Sometimes you question yourself, like, are these really work it, worth it to do these mini workouts? But hey, some movement is better than no movement. All right, come into the other side. All the little things that we do add up to bigger results long term. So remember that the little things matter. So nice and tall to the chest, palm in and reach. Shoulder back and down. Sitting nice and tall. Got one more forearm plank after this. Eleven. Last one for me. Squeeze it in for twelve. All right, fantastic. Swing around. And back onto that forearm plank. And on this last one, we're going to go upwards of a minute. Anytime that you need to rest, you can always drop to the knees or come out of the plank and then come back in when you're ready. 
So forearm plank, remember if you want it to be more challenge, challenging, you can do that body saw position. Show you that in here in a moment. So here we go, coming up into your plank. So for that body saw, I push through the toes, rock the body forward, and then I push back through the elbows, push my body back, coming forward and pushing back. If the plank itself is a challenge, just stay nice and tight, just holding that plank for as long as you can. We are 20 seconds in to this final minute plank hold. So I'm engaging the glutes, thighs, stomach pull tight. And again, I don't wanna sink into my upper body. So I'm lifting up and away from the floor, working against gravity. We are over halfway, that's 35 seconds. Neck relatively neutral, just looking down right between my forearms. Try to keep those elbows stacked just underneath the shoulders or 45 seconds in, staying tight. Fifty-five, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and one minute. Fantastic. If you did the full 30, the full minute, you got a 90-second plank in for the day. Obviously, if you'd like to take yourself through one more round, you could repeat those prone hip extensions, another set of those banded rows, and then any pull-down stretches that you feel up for. Otherwise, thanks for showing up and moving your body. See you next time.